Atrial fibrillation is a very common arrhythmia of the heart and if left untreated can lead to strokes and heart failure. The management of atrial fibrillation uh, first begins with identifying the root cause and then treated with medications and lifestyle modifications. To really achieve a cure or a long-term remission for atrial fibrillation, the most effective strategy is an ablation approach. What an ablation is, is a minimally invasive procedure where through IVs in the leg, catheters are brought into the heart and the abnormal heart tissue is targeted. In the past, the heart tissue is targeted with either freezing or heating up the tissue with radio frequency energy. Over the last several decades, there have been innovations that have really been breakthroughs in the way that we treat atrial fibrillation. And today we have pulse field ablation, which is really uh, very promising and appears to be a true breakthrough in the way that we treat atrial fibrillation. The biggest difference is, is that with pulse field ablation, the heart tissue is specifically targeted, which increases efficacy and also prevents potential collateral damage uh, that could damage the esophagus or the lungs, the nearby structures. The first thing that we do is we, we create an internal geometry of the heart that's based on three-dimensional magnetic fields. This area here in purple and red is the actual voltage inside the heart. And this is the first thing that we do before we apply the PFA energy. So with the PFA catheters, which are represented here uh, in circles, uh, the catheters are brought to the heart tissue and then very short, high energy uh, pulse fields are brought out and the heart tissue is modified. So we see this here. The combination of the mapping and the catheters uh, allows us to do a very precise uh, procedure to fix the abnormal heart tissue. In general, ablations work very well, the success rate are very high, and uh, thankfully with PFA, the complications are extremely rare. Uh, in general, the procedure takes less than an hour, and patients can go home about three hours after the procedure. With PFA, it's a really a leap forward as far as safety and efficacy, and we are excited with the technology.